Hello my sweet friends, welcome to DIY with Nadia and welcome to another wreath Wednesday. On today's video, I will be doing three wreaths using this very intricate and new leaf wreath form from the Dollar Tree. And this one was not as easy to work with as I originally thought, but let me know which one of the wreaths was your favorite. For a chance to be featured in my community tab, all you have to do is send me a picture of any DIY or wreath that you have made that was inspired by any of my videos. I will link all the information regarding that in my description box. Now, let's get started on the wreath. To start on this leaf, I'm bringing in a piece of felt. Now you could get one anywhere. Dollar Tree doesn't have a brown one, but I do get mine on Amazon. I'll link my Amazon store in the description box so you could take a look which one I get. Um, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hot glue the leaf right onto this. And by the way, look how beautiful it actually looks like this. But the reason we're doing this is on top of that, I am going to put burlap. So our leaf is going to be this brown with burlap and it's going to look very farmhouse and very beautiful. These leaves are not straight. So start with the, the parts that are touching the felt at first. And then I just go along the line and press it in. If you have to, press it from the bottom. Not that my leaf is taped to my piece of felt. I'm going to go around and cut, leaving about half an inch off the sides because I do want to seal in all those edges and this is going to help me do that. Okay, so here on the sides, just a little bit of hot glue and fold those little edges in. And the reason you don't want to leave too much because it's going to get hard around these edges right here. I'm going to pull a little bit, but that's the nice thing about felt is you can pull a little bit and tuck it and uh, get it in place. So I'm just going around and hot gluing it in place. If you need to give it a little bit of a slit right here, Go ahead and do that. As I said, this little area is going to be the hardest for you. So this is pretty much how it's going to start looking. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just finish off and I'll be right back. Okay, here is my leaf and I really think it looks beautiful as it is. You can decorate it, put a little bow on it, maybe a little bit of berry, something over here. But I really really want to use this burlap right on top of it so that is what I'm going to do and so I'm going to measure how big I need my piece to be and making sure to leave a little bit to fold behind I'm going to slowly start hot gluing the burlap to the back of my leaf and this is where you really need to make sure you're protecting your little fingers. And I use this pink one. This is from the Dollar Tree. It comes three for a dollar. But I also want to make sure that nothing gets pulled and I have plenty of burlap. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like the leaf endings first. And then I'm going to just make slits and then start hot gluing that to the side. So now that we have all our edges um, hot glued, I'm going to start with the little grooves right here. So I'm cutting from the top going in, not cutting all the way to the end, and just bringing the burlap in. So here basically we went from something that looks like this to this, and it looks beautiful. And it's starting to look absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to do this all the way around and I'll be right back. 
to decorate our leaf, I chose uh, these little white pumpkins. How absolutely adorable, and they cut them in a set of three. So what I am going to do is I'm going to separate these two, and I'm going to put them in this little bouquet, and this obviously is also from the Dollar Tree. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of sneak them in right here to give it a little pop of white. Let's use my wire cutters to shorten this up and we are just going to hot glue this in place so I'm not too worried about it and then I'm also going to get rid of this so before we move on I am going to remove these brown little things we're going to poke it back in with another piece of twig and hot glue it in place just push it in for the bow I'm going to make a simple bow but you will see why the white is so important and it's because I wanted to use my polka dot white one so so bad this piece of ribbon is 30 inches long and so what I'm going to do and I just do this for you guys if you need help making sure you got it nice and even for your tails you just line them up for example if you want five inches you got five inches bam you got your centerpiece right here is where you're going to just do a dab of hot glue and your two pieces are connected so then when I have my tails the way I want them I hold it right here pull it taut so I know where my center is and then just place my center right on top in the center right here give it another tiny bead of glue and bam your little simple bow is done I'm going to start at least with my five inches then I'm going to make my bow and here I kind of play off of this one because I want to make it a little shorter and I do it by eye if this one's 30 make this one 28 for example and here if you make one dab of hot glue this is burlap it's going to connect all the layers together okay to bring the bow together this is how I do it. I put one on top of the other. And of course, as you can see, this one is a little narrower. So let me read the measurements on here. The polka dot one is one and a half inches. And the big orange one is two and a half inches. And it's going to look beautiful. There's enough contrast. It's just, oh, it's going to be stunning. Okay, so to make the bow, we're going to keep it as it is. And then we're going to fold in half fold inside so one on top of the other and then this is how the bow is going to be and we're going to fold it in in half it's folded in half and then I'm going to take my bows and then here I'm going to take another half on both sides and fold it back kind of making like an accordion and I just find this technique kind of sets everything in place and keeps it so beautiful now i'm just wrapping my grow grain ribbon around it just look at this gorgeous bow i'm sure if you're new to bow making you can make this bow now i'm just going to give it a little bit of hot glue and i find that the tighter you bring it together in the middle the more the little uh, loops are going to stand out and it's just, oh, it's going to make for a gorgeous little bow. I'm seeing that I can still see all these tails. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to bend them back. There you go. And we have everything hidden. And then the third pumpkin that we had, I am going to make sure that it's flat. So where it connects, I'm going to put it flat here I'm using some Gorilla Glue and I'm really making sure that I put a lot of hot glue and I'm going to make sure I hold it in place until it cools off because this is really really important because this is the centerpiece of this wreath next I'm putting in my pumpkins oh and they are too adorable now with this pumpkin I'm making sure that I pretty much cover the base right here so not to go too high up there you go so when my bow comes in it's going to be perfection and then my third pumpkin I decided to put right there and then my bow I'm going to make little dovetails 
And now we're just hot gluing the bow in place. And there you go. There's our first leaf wreath from the Dollar Tree. For today's Wreath Wednesday, I'm being joined by my very good friend Antoinette from Decorating Ant's Place. On her channel, you can find lots of gorgeous home decor ideas and beautiful DIYs. I will link her channel in the description box below. Don't forget to check her out and let her know I sent you. Now, let's move on to Wreath number two. For this wreath we are using a metal leaf form from the Dollar Tree and I got this beautiful big piece of some orange felt. So this piece of felt is 18 by 12 inches so quite a large piece of felt and I'm going to start by doing all the edges so I'm going to just dab some hot glue and just do the edges and then we're going to make I guess if these are the hills <laughs> these are the valleys so we're going to do all the hills first and then the valleys and the nice thing about working with felt it will stretch over this kind of odd shapes and here and there the next thing we want to worry about is right here where you have these peaks you have two options either you grab some wire cutters and just cut these off or what you can also do is dab some hot glue, like a big gulp right here, and let it sit there so that when you add more hot glue right here and kind of bring it over, it's going to have this soft edge right here. You're basically kind of working out and molding the edge of this leaf. All right, so so far I'm just going along the edges and look at this, we have a beautiful leaf forming. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all the valleys because I kind of hot glued all the hills already. So I'm going to go in and start just cutting and doing all the valleys. And then I will be right back and we are going to decorate this beautiful leaf. To decorate my leaf, the first thing I'm going to do is grab some of this, I don't know, greenery, grass, whatever this is supposed to be with these kind of faux feathers. And yes, it's orange and it's going to kind of blend in, but that's the point. I kind of want this kind of the black design to stand out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to separate it because it's too long here and you kind of want to have control of where you want all this brown stuff, where you want the leaf. Yeah, so I'm going to keep three because uh, four is just a weird number. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take the leaves off. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is attach the grass right here and kind of just spread it where I want it kind of melt it in it'll melt really easily and then all this excess I'm going to cut off okay now I'm going to take my feathers next I'm bringing in these cone flowers next I'm going to grab uh, some mums and then I'm going to put the mum and actually I think I'm going to take the whole stem off and put the mum right here in the center. So I'm starting by, by hot gluing my mum right kind of at the tip where my feathers ended. And that's going to cover that up. And then I'm going to go in with these beautiful flowers kind of going around. And it's going to look like this beautiful flower right in the center. To complete this beautiful leaf, I'm going to grab these berry picks. And yes, these are from Dollar Tree. They are new this year and absolutely stunning. And what I'm going to do is I want to separate them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get three and kind of do them in different height. Just one on top and then, and then just twist them. So as I was putting my berries in place, Leo came and said hello and somehow the camera turned off. 
So since no video pretty much is complete without uh, a sighting of Leo, I thought he would say hi to you. Okay, baby, I got to finish up. Okay, and so at the end of the day, the 16 pieces that come in the pack, I have four bundles of three and then one bundle of four that were separate. And I, what I did was the little bundles of three, I have them here. Then I'm going to put one right here, then one here, one here. And then the four that were single, I just spread them throughout the wreath and yes I do keep my hot glue gun very safe on my table and in a container because uh, Leo can actually stop by any time and you know how he is so this is how I actually do it I just keep it in one of these glass vases um, that way it's safe it won't fall and you know I know my fur baby's okay if even if I walk away from the table it's safe and tucked in in my little vase there. I'm going to be using Dollar Tree leaf wreath form then you're going to need some sort of fabric it doesn't matter what color it doesn't matter what type of fabric it is all we need is to cover this leaf in any fabric so that when we're going to start attaching our leaves to it that it will hold you can still do it to this it's just going to be a lot harder because as you can see like this leaf totally just kind of sinks in between these two lines for example so basically we're just getting something to cover it and to be our base turn it upside down because this leaf does have a shape and it kind of goes in a dome so the dome part is going to go underneath and it's going to sway up kind of like a plate just so you kind of have an idea of what I'm doing here and I'm going to make little slits right here where the leaves are so that I can and I'm just going to start hot gluing straight to my wreath form just like that All right, now I have my leaf all taped. It's not perfect in the back, but that's okay. If you don't like the way it looks, you can cover it. Now I'm going to take this 50 piece pack of little leaves. And the first thing I'm going to do is kind of divide the, the sections because they're kind of in bundles. A little bit of these, a little bit of these. These green ones, I'm thinking of maybe definitely having a few over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to work from outside in and then I'm going to do the little tail. So let's put these guys on each one of these little curves. Okay, so I have been kind of looking over this and I decided to open another pack and get more of these orange leaves. Okay, and now I'm going back. And anywhere where I see white, I'm going to fill it in, kind of in between, but still kind of going down this way. Because, I mean, I know these leaves are kind of facing out. We're going to kind of face them in and kind of tunnel them in like this, just like a leaf kind of does. It goes towards that center line. Okay, now that I kind of have have the outline I think I'm going to do the bottom green ones that way I can fill in my orange one right here okay I'm putting in another green one right here to cover kind of like these sides and then this one can come up a little higher now that that's done I'm going to go to the orangey kind of like a dark orange to a dark yellow 
or a light orange to a dark yellow. So the lightest ones are going to be these yellow ones and those are the ones I want in the middle. So now I'm just going to kind of cover this space right here and right here. Kind of like the, the side belly or whatever you want to call it. 